Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna introduce you the operation of iTech New DC Power Supply ITN six nine six three. This is a one hundred and fifty volt, ten amps and one thousand and five hundred watt DC power supply. And this power supply is a a linear combined with switch power supply, so it has very low ripple and noise, and high current accuration. And you can see when it is turned on,、uh, it will go directly into the measure、uh, menu, and we call it meter.、Uh, if you、uh, press the menu. And you can see it's a first button to go into this meter or measure、uh, interface. When we go to the、uh, meter interface,、uh, you can see here we can set the I range to high、uh, current measuring range that is ten amps,、uh, auto range. Or low, low. That is twenty milliamps range. Okay,、uh, let's stay to the auto range. And here we can see the OVP over voltage protection is turned off, and the over current protection is turned on. And this setting,、uh, detail setting, can be set、uh, in the protection menu. And later I will introduce you about this. And through rate,、uh, the voltage through rate, and the current through rate. Here,、uh, the unit is second, and you can also set the voltage per second. And the setting can also be set in the configure、uh, menu. And later I will show you、uh, timer. And here, if you want to set the voltage to fifty amps. And the current uh, uh, here will stay at a maximum current. It can output is ten amps, fifty、uh, volt. And here、uh, you can see I have connected this power supply with the regenerated DC electronic load ITM thirty three hundred, which is. Sixty volt, thirty amps, and eight hundred watt. And the current setting here, I have set to four amps. And when I turn on this power supply, it will also provide four amps. Okay.、Uh, next, let's go to this menu.、Uh, we also have the recorder. Recorder. You can quickly enter this recorder、uh, interface by pressing the view. And here,、uh, you can set the auto, and you can see the voltage, the cow,、uh, the power, and the current.、Uh, and you can store this all this data and export. To the USB disk.、Uh, here we can set the export. Export here we can select to USB disk,、uh, but I don't have it, so here I will not install this. Okay, let's go to the system to see、uh, what we can set. The system、uh, we can set the key sound not immediately display or、uh, delayed. The HD LCD brightness, the trigger source, manual or automatic、um, trigger port, and Here are the settings, basic settings, and LAN interface setting,、uh, information of this instrument. Okay, and we can go to the menu to set the configure or just 
uh, press shift and one to uh, go to configure uh, directly here we can set the current range uh, for example to def the default current range we can set to high or to auto uh, the measuring speed slow medium fast the priority setting that is CCCV priority setting uh, the default setting is voltage and the through rate uh, either you can select time or through rate if you select through rate you can see the through up speed the unit will turn to voltage per millisecond also the down through right uh, the unit will also change okay that is configure uh, let's see the list program uh, most people will use the shortcut shift and press 6 to go directly into the list program open the saved the preset program you have uh, stored in this instrument you can uh, just edit it here we can into the edit and here set the three steps step one two three uh, we set the value voltage value to 10 uh, to 20 to 30 volt and the through rate we can set to the minimal uh, one millisecond through right and the uh, dual time is one second uh, each step uh, and here uh, we can see the priority uh, here we can set CV priority that is voltage priority or you can set the CC priority and the end state I will explain it uh, normal last and off the normal means when the this program ends it will uh, store or uh, go back to go back to the formal state uh, the CV state or the CC state and the last means when the list program ends uh, it will stay at the last step of this list program and the off state means when the list program ends it will turn off the output and the repeat here I have set the repeat uh, the normal uh, repeat that is 20 EV loops okay uh, let's save this and return uh, and here I have turned on the uh, electronic load and the source and then we can run this the wrong state we change to waste trick and then you give a trick signal uh, because here we use a manual trick uh, give a trick signal and we can see the line Okay, we can see the current will stay at the 4 amp and hold on. And the voltage and power will change from, uh, for example, voltage change from 10 to 20 to 30 volt and then repeat it again. Uh, here we have 20 loops. And the power, uh, the power is a red line. It will also change with it. Okay, hold off. And then we can turn on. Okay, last we will I will introduce you the protect function. Uh, here we can see you can set the OVP and OCP here. The OVP state is off and we can turn it on. And we can also set the delay time and the uh, protection value and UVP settings also can be set uh, current uh, OCP over current protection delay time and protection value and UV UCP 
are under current protection and power OPP setting. And here you can see the limit function. Limit function, we can set the maximum voltage current and power limiting function. That means when the, uh, for example, the current, the loading current is uh, out range, this range, and it will stay at this maximum current. And another function is fallback function. The fallback means when the uh, state of this power supply changes from CV to CC or CC to CV. That means the loading state changes. Uh, and then it will protect. That means after the delay time, it will automatically turn off this power supply to protect the DUT. Okay, uh, that's all for this introduction. ITEP, your power testing solution.